Well, the level four passes opened up and there was crazy battling in zone five. We battled against our enemies for more than 24 hours and I've got tons of battle reports to go over. We're also gonna talk about how we're doing towards our KVK2 goals. So stick around in this video to find out more. What's up everybody, Psych out here with another Rise of Kingdoms video and in this video we're going to be talking about how our progress has gone so far in KVK2. As I mentioned already, we battled for more than 24 hours against our very tough opponents from Kingdom 2240, ultimately winning the day and securing Zone 5. I'm going to show you a little bit of what that looks like here on the map right now so you can get a good look on how things have progressed. So remember, our starting zone was over here in the bottom left-hand corner, Lucerne, and we battled our way out all the way into uh, this zone here, uh, Villa Villa, and uh, this is our territory, all of the orange, and we've ultimately put, put some uh, forts, uh, alliance fortresses here around the pass, uh, locking our opponents in, not technically uh, completely locking them, they can always battle their way out, but it's a tough task to battle your, your way out when there's those forts there. Forts take a really long time to burn. It gives your opponents lots of opportunity to teleport cities in, plus we have all of this territory, so we can bring lots more people to the fight than they can in, in, in a shorter fashion. So it's really hard to battle your way out. Now that being said, this KVK is far from over. So while uh, uh, our kingdom and our allies have secured this zone, uh, our enemy kingdoms and their allies have secured uh, this zone up here, Zarate. They've secured that five, uh, that that uh, that zone five. So that's uh, Kingdom forty five and uh, Kingdom thirty six. And then uh, meanwhile, over here in Havana, this zone five, our allies, Kingdoms. Uh, 37 and uh, kingdoms, what is the other one down here? Sorry, it's kingdom 37 and kingdom 47 have secured that zone. Uh, and finally, uh, our enemies again have secured a zone five here. Sakaka, they've secured, uh, well, that's both kingdoms 40, who we've been battling against, and kingdom 48. So there's still a lot of play to, to go in this KVK um, in about seven or 10 days, something like that. Zone 6 will be opening up here, Zone 6 will be opening up here, right? All of these Zone 6s will be opening and ready for contention. And we're sure to see, see, see some very fierce battling over a, a number of days. It's, it's very possible that during the course of that battling for Zone 6, um, that, that enough happens, that enough people can go through zones to actually lay claim to the entire, uh, the, the entire KVK. It could be decided in zone six. It might be that a couple of kingdoms secure some zone sixes and, and we ultimately have to duke it out in Kingsland to see who the final victor is. But so far there has been a ton of action and a ton of fighting and I promise to share some battle reports so that's what I'm going to do. Right now I'm doing a little bit of healing, healing down of the hospital from my most recent uh, engagement, something that happened a little bit earlier today today. Uh, I could talk a little bit about that if you want. Uh, let's get some healing going. Let's do about 24, uh, 2400 here. Yeah. And we've got that going. Okay. So, um, so battle reports. Let's let's jump into them. I tried to favor as many as I could. I did not favor them all because there were so so many. Lots and lots of battling happening. This is the most recent engagement I just mentioned. So there's a little a little thing happening earlier today, and and uh, and, uh, and I'll show what that looked like. So uh, our opponents in 2240, very competitive, uh, have been jumping into our zone. Uh, they've been random teleporting into our zone. They've been doing all kinds of things to get into our zone and, and kill a lot of our gatherers. You might notice that I'm gathering with. Uh, uh, marches like Richard, uh, marches like uh, Alexander, and marches like Charles Martel there. That's because uh, I, I anticipate a little bit that, they, that the enemy may send some cav units in to try to attack those, and, and my, my uh, gatherer should do pretty well against those. It's not the most optimal, not the most not the fastest gathering I can do, but it's a way I can do a little bit of gathering um, relatively unconcerned. It's not totally the case because somebody with uh, T5 could teleport in and just smash all of those gatherers, giving me a really big hospital bill. In fact, that has happened one time to me during this KVK. But what just happened most recently? Well, uh, I set a little trap, uh, my friends. Um, I put 
a bunch of gatherers down here on these gold nodes, which is uh, just to, to give you some reference, is near the enemy pass. Knowing that the enemy uh, has been liking to, to stick some marches out here to come out here and try to kill some gatherers. So I set a little bait. So a little bait on some of these uh, some of these gold nodes, and I had some other marches here in this flag. And as soon as the enemy arrived, in fact, there was one more uh, one more person sitting here doing a little bit of gathering. There was a gem node here earlier uh, as well. And as soon as the enemy arrived on the scene, I sprung the trap. All of my marches coming out of the flags, coming out of the nodes, swarming down the enemy, and that's how we got these battle reports that you'll see here. Here's the first report. Uh, you can see a pretty savage report, uh, 2,000 sev wounded for me, 30,000 for my opponent. And these are all T5, T5 infantry there, um, and, and, and T5 infantry for me. Uh, here's, here's another report where my Saladin and Bybars, uh, you know, did very well. Some very good exchanges, 3,000 to 12,000, um, almost 8,000 to 21,000 there. Uh, uh, you know, lots of AOE effect and here's 7,000 to, you know, they're more better than two to one trades in, in almost all of these cases by Saladin and buy bars. Richard Ethelflaed, again, always trades very well, did well here about 2,700 to 8,600. Uh, this is the only march that ended up ultimately getting defeated. My opponent did focus down this march with his marches that, that were slowly coming in. So his first march trickled in. I attacked that first march and then his other marches slowly came in behind, which really gave me a big advantage in the fight. Uh, but this march did ultimately lose lose out for me. This is the one he focused the most, the Kusunoki YSG. And that's one thing that I've noticed so far in a lot of the battling, that those epic commanders really do get focused. And Kusunoki's done really well. I've gotten a lot of that AoE damage that I hope to get. But... These commanders really do get focused down a lot in the open field. And that's and that's what happened here. But that's okay because in some respects it's not so bad. Kusunoki has a lot of AoE. YSG has a lot of AoE. So getting focused on those marches isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, we also, this is the uh, Alex Sunzu. Uh, again, just really, uh, really, really good trades um, all around. Um, basically, whatever march I was, I was aiming at, Alex Sunzu did really well. Uh, Richard Ethelflaed again, uh, you know, doing well against the Cavs, doing well. Again, this is all T5, right? Those are T5 infantry. I show up here that these are T5 Cavs. Um, and that was the first march that arrived, that Saladin Khan. So I was focusing that one initially. Uh, and then and then ultimately, I think the Alexander I focused next, followed by um, some of the other marches. And then here's the Kusunoki YSG. Again, this is the one that he was focusing. So, his, you know, all of his marches were, were trying to focus on this one. So I took, a, you know, not, not positive trades in these cases. But again, that's very close. Negative 3,000 there. Uh, here I actually ended up net positive on that one. Uh, negative about 1,000 on that one. And negative about 4,000. So negative, um, you know, what what was that? 4,000, another, another 1,000, uh, and then 2,000 back. So, you know, around uh, maybe eight, 8,000 negative, something like that. Really not a bad deal uh, for a march that's getting focused. Uh, my Constantine Joan actually did a fair amount of damage here. Uh, and then again, this was the march that got focused. This is the one that was really bad, you know, minus 14,000 there. Uh, and then a minus another 6,000 from, from a, um, from, from a, well, actually, Wait a minute. This might have been a different battle. Sorry about that. Yeah, those are actually different battles. So, so sorry. Never mind. We'll we'll go show those in a minute. Um, I think these were the battles. These were the ones where I got caught, where I was uh, gathering, and, and this T five player came in um, and tried to do a little bit of damage to me. I think no, that's not it. Actually, I don't know. These ones were I must have been doing some damage to somebody else. I don't remember these actually that well. In any case, point is that that little trap worked pretty well and uh, did a lot of damage to my opponent. It ended up being about a hundred thousand T five in the hospital for me. About 250,000 T5 in the hospital for him. So a very good trade for me. A nice little trap to maybe slow down uh, our opponents from doing all of this uh, attacking of, of gatherers. And anyway, that was that was the idea. Um, so yeah, here's here's another battle report against, I think this is all T4, I'm pretty sure here. Yeah, um, you know, very good trades from Richard and Ethelflaed. Um, Saladin and Bybars did very well. Uh, here, um, here, here's the the one that this march just really is doing a ton of damage. The Alex Sunzu, um, you know, just ripping apart uh, lots of marches, getting plenty of of AOE kills as well. Um, so there's a there's a report. Uh, you know, I mean, like uh, some of these are just really disgusting. I don't know why my opponent had uh, Tao Tao and uh, and Lohar out there, but um, Kusunoki and YSG 
did a number on him. Here was a situation where my opponents were getting a little too aggressive. They, they were coming out on the field. This was after we had secured the field uh, and it had locked them up in the past. And they they'd sent a bunch of marches out there. And, and unbeknownst to them, I was really watching carefully. As soon as they got a little too far out, I teleported in, busted out all of my marches, and just started hitting lots and lots of these opponents. And you can see, uh, for the most part, we got very, very good trades. This is... Um, this is my Constantine Joan of Arc, which is not a particularly damage, high damage march. It's much more of a support march. Richard Ethelflaed, again, you know, uh, amazing trades, some 10 to 1 spots in there. Um, you know, uh, there's a, a, a 4 to 1 trade on that one. Just, you know, Richard Ethelflaed doing what it does, you know, almost a 10 to 1 there. Um, you know, a really big, a really big one, uh, you know. Uh, better than 10 to 1 on, on that one. Uh, here's the Kusunoki YSG. Uh, again, look at, I mean, look at that trade. You know, a 2,700 to 42,000 in the hospital, 2,000 to 37,000, 1,000 to 14. Uh, just some amazing trade. Look at this, 0 to 10,000 from just AOE damage. There I, there I took a little AOD, AOE damage myself. Uh, at, you know, 1,000 to 20,000. Uh, just... Just amazingly good trades from Kusunoki YSG. So again, while I said, you know, he does get focused, tends to get focused on the open field. This is why I'm bringing out the Kusunoki YSG. Just look at all of the damage it did and look at all of that AOE damage it did as a part of all of that. Uh, here, here's, uh, you know, some more Kusunoki YSG reports. These ones are, I think, are pretty average. Uh, I don't think, well, here's the one that did really well. Um, you know, Alex Hannibal Barca, I'm not sure about that pair or why anybody would go for that, but you can see Kusunoki YSG did really well. Um, you know, again, lots of damage on, on all of these marches nearby, just picking up lots of kills from that AOE. Um, we'll take a look here. We'll find some more of these Alex uh, Sun Tzu marches. This one I think looks like it's going to go very, very well. Uh, there's a, a little better than even on that Charles YSG, uh, picking up some AOE kills there, picking up some AOE kills there. Um, yeah, some, and, you know, again, some more AOE kills. And here's again the, Marcus, uh, the march that I was focusing, Alex Hannibal. Uh, you know, big, big, you know, big trades in my favor. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is all T5. I mean, this is just, just huge wins from a hospital standpoint uh, in these battles here. Uh, you know, again, AOE pickup. I mean, look at this AOE pickup. I mean, that's just all AOE damage for, for 12,000 kills. Um, just a really savage march. Really, really, really very happy with the way um, Alex and Sun Tzu have performed. Uh, this one, so I took a little bit of a negative trade. It must have been this time that my salad and buy bars was the one being focused. So we took a little bit of a negative trade there. Did some pretty decent damage here. Um, you know, these are, these are some of the worst reports, um, that I got. And overall, again, this was the March that was being focused. Overall, these are not too bad. Um, still doing plenty of AOE damage with the salad and buy bars. And of course the Richard Ethelflaed doing lots of damage, uh, as well. Uh, we did some city attacks. We, we, uh, didn't even, I don't even think we rallied the city. I think we just swarmed the city. This was in, in the zone five fight. There was a city just sort of sitting there. Uh, off territory and um, we just went after this one um, so you know 355 dead to 7,000 dead uh, 365 to 7,000 564 to 6,500 uh, 1,100 to 6,900 795 to 9,000 uh, 1,600 to almost 1,300 with another 6,000 uh, self wounded right this is when we were filling the hospital here Another 1,700 dead to 14,000 dead, uh, 14,000 dead to uh, an incredible 30,000 dead. That's that Kusunoki uh, YSG. Sometimes that Kusunoki skill can proc off. Sometimes that full archer tree skill can proc off as well, adding lots of, of, of deads to, to a city like this. Um, and, and here's one of the initial attacks with Alex and, and Sun Tzu, 3,000 dead to um, about 60,000 
uh, Sev wounds for, for my opponent there. So those are some really good battle reports. I didn't win them all. As you can see, here's, here's a really negative battle report with Saladin where you can see that Saladin got heavily, heavily focused in a big, big, big murder ball kind of situation. So we, we can look through here and we can see, you know, here, here, um, Saladin actually did, you know, did more to Saladin by bars. That AOE is actually fairly effective. So even though I'm getting focused, I'm still getting reasonably decent trades in a lot of cases. I'm sure there'll be some really bad ones in here somewhere, but overall, you know, this isn't still isn't bad, right? I got 2,600, but I'm putting 8,000 in the hospital for my opponent. Even though my march is getting focused, it's really not a terrible um, kind of situation. You know, same thing here. Uh, I'm getting focused, but, but not, not the worst situation. So that one's a little bit negative. Um, you know, some more, some more slightly negative kinds of trades here and there, but overall for a March, it's getting focused, right? Like my salad and by bars was that this doesn't look just too bad. Um, relatively even a little bit negative. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just lots of marches sort of picking away, um, getting a little bit of a good trade each time. But overall, it's not so bad. And again, part of the deal here is that I've switched to Vikings and Vikings have that 3% counterattack damage. So even when I'm getting swarmed, even when I'm getting focused, I'm picking up some extra kills from all of my marches anyway. So it's it's uh, overall not so bad. Um, let's see if we got some other big uh, monster ones here. This one doesn't look too huge, but not a bad, uh, you know, ab about, what was that? Less about 700 to about 18 to 19,000, uh, you know, pretty good, pretty good result there. Uh, here's 300 to 9,000, just some really uh, good trades on a lot of these marches, uh, depending on what my opponent had out there. So, and then these battle reports just go on and on and on and on, and, and I could go over them all day long, but I, I don't want to bore you to death with battle report after battle report. I do want to jump in and talk a little bit about how this KVK is going. Before I do that, let's check to make sure Nobody's coming over here to try to kill my gatherers. Okay, I don't see any action there. So let's jump in here. And my troops are not quite done healing yet. So let's jump up to the uh, to to a couple of things here. First, we can check Relentless Warriors. You, I don't have too many deads. We didn't do too many rallies that I had to be involved in. Uh, we didn't do too many uh, garrison situations. There were a few garrison situations my allies were in uh, at a time when I was offline. I was out sleeping, and and my uh, my um, alliance traded really, really well on a couple of garrison situations. And, and if I have a chance, I'll show those reports on this channel as well. Like just you know, better than two to one kinds of trades uh, in garrison situations, really good. Uh, so I've got about uh, um, 44,000 dead troops so far. I'll get back 13,000 or I don't know actually how. There's some way to get an extra 10% back. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you can actually look and see what troops these are. Uh, we see, you know, it's mostly infantry, a little bit of cab and a little bit of archer. Um, so, so that's where we're at there. We can look, take a look at where we're doing for honor. Um, I'm at 28,000 honor, which isn't a huge amount. Uh, and, uh, you know, but puts me 12th in the Alliance. I haven't been pushing on her a ton. I've been trying to do a lot of fighting and a lot of killing, which we can check now under the Crusader achievements. Uh, I was, I scroll to find an achievement where we've got kills. Let's see where we're at here. I think I missed one. Yeah, here we are. So remember the target or the goal for this KVK is to try to get to 30 million kills. Obviously you get the rewards at 25 million and I'm at 6.6 .6 million so far. Uh, we started around 250 million kill points and our kill points are now up to 341 million. So we've added about 90 million kill points to our total. I don't have the exact stats for how that breaks down from T4 and T5. Um, I've actually fought a lot of T5 in this KVK, which is something that I've historically um, particularly preferred to do. As you can see, my ratio of T5 to T4 um, is actually pretty close. It's a little better than two to one. I've killed a, uh, about twice as many T4s, a little over twice as many T4s as T5s, but I, I try to fight T5s when I can because I'm a T5 player and I feel like it's my duty to go attack those players. I also feel like when you can fill a T5 player's hospital, that really hurts the kingdom. As somebody who has had a pretty full hospital with T5, I can tell you for sure it really does a lot of damage and takes a tremendous amount of resources to heal that kind of hospital. So 
uh, when I can, I do try to focus on those T5, even though I could probably rack up quite a few more kills if I focused on T4, but uh, that's a different topic for a different day. Look, if you like this video, if you like to hear these kind of things, if you like to hear how the KVK is going, if you like to see how we're progressing towards our goals, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know down in the comment section below, what do you want to hear more about next? Uh, I've got some ideas for future videos on the uh, on my docket, but if there's something you want to hear about, particularly as it pertains to KVK2, leave your questions and comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much, everybody, and we'll see you next time.